This video explains how to answer a semi-interactive console question. During this tutorial, you can pause or replace sections of this video at any time. Each question represents a partially completed ultrasound examination. You will be required to assess the current system settings and evaluate the existing images. As a reminder, the images in the console question are frozen and will not change with your console adjustments. You will use the mouse to adjust the console settings to achieve the goal specified in the question. You can adjust as many or as few active controls as needed. The console is divided into four areas. Area 1 is the 2D static image. Area 2 is the static Doppler image. Area 3 is the problem statement. The problem statement contains the issue to be addressed or corrected. Area 4 is the interactive control area. This area contains the simulated controls that are manipulated to achieve the objective in the question. You respond to this problem by manipulating the active controls in this area. The interactive control area contains the primary controls. The primary controls consist of pulsed wave, continuous wave, color, 2D, M mode, which is reserved for later use, freeze, and tools. Each control can be in one of three states. Selectable off, selectable on, and not selectable on. As you select a primary control, Secondary controls are activated. The Select Control value slider appears. The slider allows you to change the value of the control by moving the slider or using your mouse and left clicking to select the value. Use a scroll bar to see additional secondary controls. In the real exam, there is one primary and five secondary active controls. The baseline and velocity scale secondary controls are interrelated. Changing the baseline position changes possible settings for lower and upper velocity scale values. There are three possible baseline positions, high, center, and low. The transducer control allows you to select the transducer type and frequency by using the drop down arrows. The time gain compensation can be adjusted by left clicking with your mouse the individual sliders. The exam controls include a reset key that will allow you to return the question to its original state. The next key allows you to submit your answer and move to the next question. As a reminder, the images in the console question are frozen and will not change with your console adjustments. You have watched the How to Answer a Semi-Interactive Console Question tutorial. For more information and a glossary of terms, go to www.ardms.org forward slash SIC.